You say making his fifth start of the season. He's allowed just one earned run three times already this year. Last time out, it was against the Yankees. Six innings, one run. He did walk a pair, struck out three, but he's been much more efficient. Elvis Andrus heads towards home plate to get us underway today. He's a veteran player. Hopefully, he can have a good at bat to start this game and set the tone. Slider was close to the zone anyway, and the strikeout for Kikuchi. Andrew Vaughn, the first baseman, steps in. And he got him down and in. 92 mile an hour cutter there. Back to back strikeouts to start Kikuchi's afternoon. Two strikeouts. Here is Robert Jr. This is a well hit ball to deep right field off the wall. Robert on his way to second. The throw from Springer. They got him as he overslid the bag. Will the White Sox challenge is the question. But Robert overslid the bag and Bichette just kept the tag on him. They will not challenge. Michael Kopech making his fifth start of the season and the walks have been an issue. Second base Lenny and Sosa. Throws Springer out a one down Bo Bichette coming up. We had a pitch calm issue but no time was called so Kopech rushes this pitch and gets strike three anyway. There's no ability to disengage with nobody on base, so the timer keeps winding. So two down, and eventually Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is going to come up, and today marks the four-year anniversary of Vladdy's Major League debut. This pitch hit high in the air, deep right center field. Robert Jr. is back, and he's going to leave it for Romy Gonzalez, who makes the catch. That's teamwork, baby. Kikuchi faced the minimum back in the first. Now the left-hander gets Eloy Jimenez. Swing and a miss. Jimenez down on strikes. Kikuchi has faced four. He's fanned three. Here's Andrew Benintendi, the lone left-handed batter in the White Sox lineup. Grounded sharply to short. Bichette's got it. And got him. Two down. Berger playing third with Moncada on the injured list. Two for 15 on the road trip. He has 10 hits this season. 2-2. Two -two. Line drive towards Bichette. Caught right in front of his chin to retire the side. Makes the stare in a 1-2-3 frame turned in by the lefty. Midway through two, no score. Seven, eight, and nine to face Yusei Kikuchi here in this scoreless start. Sebi Zavala in the right-handed batter's box as the lefty works. One, two, swing and a miss. And right on cue, what did Kikuchi do? It's the torque that he puts on the body with the hips and the middle leg rotating all the way through. Gonzalez has played on the diamond. He's in the outfield today, starting in right. The one, two pitch. Tied him up, he's down on strikes. Sides retired. Strikeout number five for Yusei Kikuchi. He continues his fantastic work in the rotation for the Blue Jays. Middle of the third, no scores. Santiago Espinal was hit by a Garrett Cole fastball on the right wrist. In the moment, it didn't look good. And it certainly looked like it could have been a much more serious injury. And here he is just a few days later back in the lineup. And comes up with a base hit. What a difference a few days makes. Remember when Espy got hit by that pitch, the sound that we heard sounded like it may have hit the knob of the bat. That's why I thought he was in big trouble. A two-out base hit, and that'll get George Springer to the plate. Whoa. And did that hit George, or did that hit the bat? Because they asked for an appeal, and I guess it hit Springer. And is he okay? The White Sox asked if he swung, and did that get him on the hand? Definitely didn't swing. Didn't appear to do too much damage at all. He's already jogged down to first. I'm sure he's feeling it. Yeah, he just said, ow. So two on with two out now for Bo Bichette. And he shoots it into right for a base hit. Espinal will score. The ball is dropped out in right. Springer around to third. RBI single Bichette. And it is one to nothing Blue Jays. One nothing Blue Jays. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Hit a fly ball to deep right his first time up. There goes Bo from first. And that's a fair ball. Springer in to score. Bichette getting the wave. And he will score. It'll be a two-run double for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Jays got three two-out runs in the third inning to grab the lead. Dalton Varsho leading off the fourth inning for Toronto. Blue Jays leading 3-0. The 3-1. And he'll take a leadoff walk. Here's Merrifield who grounded out in the third. 
And Merrifield hits it into right field for a base hit. And a perfect combination to play hit and run with, with Varsho on the bases and Merrifield at the plate. So the Blue Jays threatening again, up three to nothing in the bottom of the fourth. Here's Danny Jansen, who hit a fly ball to center field his first time up. Maybe the Blue Jays will add a run or two to the lead. And they'll add one right here. How about Espinal? His second hit, he drives in a run, and it is four to nothing. We just got an update from the Toronto Blue Jays. The club announcing that negative x-rays came back on the right hand of George Springer. So it's a bruise, essentially. A hand contusion is how it's classified. But the best news of the day, a negative x-ray. Both swings of the first pitch, hooks it up the left field line, into the corner, and there! He got it out of here! Bo Bichette serves one up the left field line and just kept it true enough. He stuck it in the screen. He's got his fifth of the year, and the Blue Jays have a 5-0 lead. So the bases remain loaded, now two outs, and here's Whit Merrifield, one for three. Grounded up the middle and through for a base hit. Guerrero will score. Chapman will score. Varsho around to third. It is 7-0. Runners on the corners, and that base hit in front of 35,069. Whip him into a frenzy once again. 7-0 Toronto. Had a nice day at the plate. Got the Blue Jays on the board with an RBI single in the third. Took a leadoff walk in the fifth. Line drive right field and another hit for Bichette. In to score is Espinal. Third hit and third RBI of the afternoon for Bo Bichette. Two down in the ninth. One more cut here in Toronto left for the White Sox. 35,000 coming out of their chairs in downtown Toronto. And there it is. Rosen with a fastball on the outside corner. Outstanding pitching from the Blue Jays today from Kikuchi right through the three relievers. Bichette, Guerrero, Espinal, et cetera, et cetera. Merrifield, so many guys contributing offensively and just a, a really good piece of work here over the last three days.